The one thing that really got me into music was my dad actually growing up he had an acoustic guitar around the house would always be playing a real mixture of tunes really anything from like Rush to Beastie Boys to Stevie Wonder. I remember vividly a time me and my brother transcribed Boulevard of Broken Dreams into a song about Swiss rolls and cake which sort of really got the ball rolling in terms of like taking something we already had and turning it into something our own which was like really really fun. And not long after that my my dad and granddad got together and they gave me a guitar that my granddad had a Squire Stratocaster that I totally loved. That's just how it all started. That's what really got me into it from day one. But what got me into production was specialising at college and then furthermore at university and just recording for the love of it before I knew it and recording EPs for bands. So who am I? My name is Tom Bell. I'm currently under mentorship of the wizard that is Tom Gibson, the owner of the palace that is Black Hill Studios. I'll be working as a freelance producer and mix engineer within this facility. What I do here is I, I assist Tom as and when he needs assisting. I'm preparing mixes, tying the ends and making everything nice and perfect so that when Tom sits down to mix, all he has to do is just get right in there, make a banging cup of tea. Coffee I've not had a review on yet, but no one's complained, so. Things that I'm doing currently and things that I'd like to continue doing is working with bands closely to help them bolster their portfolios because in doing so I'm seeing these bands progress in so many different ways and I'd love to continue to do that for bands in the area and just help us all like push the mark, you know. Black Hill is such an amazing place to work. Everything about this place is thought out for the musician as well as Tom. At no point is there any interruption of workflow. All you're seeing is progress and results that are satisfying everybody who comes through here. I think it's important to say that it's not about look at what we have here, like look at this amazing thing that's gonna make you sound great. It's just a safe space to develop your ideas. People seeing results they're seriously happy with. It's something that I'm truly privileged to be a part of. My favourite album currently is Schlagenheim or Schlagenheim by Black Midi. It's balls to the wall, absolutely crazy. Face is just like peeling back as you're listening to it. It's so loud, it's super aggressive, but that's not all it is. I don't want to say too much because I just want to invite you to listen to it free of judgement. All time... I can't believe I'm going to do this, but I'm going to look at my phone. You need your phone to I need, tell you who your favourite artist is. No, I don't need time. to know who my favourite artist is, but it's a very temporary thing, right? The longest standing favourite band of mine is King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard. I think they're just amazing. Nothing more needs to be said about it. I'd say Guilty Pleasure, but it's just a great tune. Kiss from a Rose, <laughs> Seal, with a little sprinkle of guilt, you know. That you wouldn't guess. I mean, the first would be, I'm a huge fan of Marmite which is not exciting. But if I'm having eggs on toast, you best believe there's gonna be Marmite on that toast. <laughs> Number two, my guilty pleasure is A Kiss From A Rose by Seal. You've already done that. Damn it. One thing you might not know about me that my friends do is that I often ask the most stupid questions in the most unwarranted circumstances, such as my friend had a little brother whose parents bought him a barbecue for his fifth birthday. Bit weird. Once everyone's talking about what else did he get for his birthday, blah blah blah. I took it upon myself to ask the question, does it get hot? Everyone around the table was like slowing down like you idiot. But I'm not gonna buy my five-year-old a real barbecue. One that gets hot. <laughs> Surely the kid's not gonna use it unsupervised, but hey ho, that kid got a barbecue for his fifth birthday. And I hope to this day that you have not sustained any burns or barbecue related injuries. Number three. The first musical group I ever saw on stage was Boney M. Following the release of Sublunary's debut EP, I've been working on my own EP, which is a study into polymeter and polyrhythms. It's a project that's heavily influenced by the works of King Crimson, composer Lou Harrison, Steve Reich, and again, King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard. You should definitely check out Polygon Duana Land if you would like a little glimpse into the world of polyrhythm. There is an infinite world there. As well as this, I've been continuing working with Sublunary to gather a few little exciting things to release later in the year. I would just like them to know that I sink my teeth into pretty much any project that I'm given and that's not to say that I become a control freak and I have to be in command of everything. Um, 
I just have to know the message behind your music. Bands that you take inspiration from, whether that's songwriting, arrangement, or even the producers or mix engineers behind the record that might make it sound like quintessentially what you want as an artist. I'd like to think I'm very good at sourcing sounds through inspiration. I want to gather the best understanding possible behind the reason you make your music to create a product that you're truly going to love with every ounce of you.